Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Card Wars. I'm joined once again by Danielle. Hello. And we are going to take on Princess Bubblegum, the monarch of the Candy Kingdom. Ooh, she's going all nice lens. Ooh, she has a lot of HP too, 70. I don't know if Dr. Jonut's up to the challenge. Hopefully he is. He's still a little weaker than Finn and Jake, but we got some new cards thanks to that update. Yeah. Here we go. I put Phyllis in the deck. <laughs> if you guys missed all the updates to the game, check out the last video. Because we, uh, we talked about the new magic system, new missions, lots of cool stuff. All right, let me try this again. Oh, nope. All right. <laughs> Hopefully we get Phyllis, because I want to see what she looks like here. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm just going to do two Husker Knights, because I want to try to cover as much ground as I can. I have no idea where Bubblegum's going to lay her creatures. I, last time, Rainicorn just didn't have enough magic to lay some of them, so we'll have to see if Bubblegum can do it. Oh, she's got fluff a pillar. Still using some of those basic Nicelands creatures. I wonder what else she's got up her sleeve, though. I'm Probably surprised a she's cow. not the last character in this area. Yeah, though. it is a little weird that she's not, yeah, the boss of the Candy Kingdom. I think we got a new character coming up here pretty soon. Let's see. Ooh. <gasps> Freezy J. Or not Freezy J. Detective Bobby or Dog Boy? I usually go with Dog Boy in this situation. Dog Boy! Just because he can do more damage. And she left that lane open, so let's try it. If I can just hit these fluffa pillars normal. There we go. Oh, whoa! That's whoa. crazy! It's a three-star chest. That's our first one. We haven't ever gotten more than a two-star chest. So as we keep going, we'll get more and more chests like this. Now I have to win, or else I won't get that chest. Oh, there's the cow. Cow! All right. Oh, she's not doing too much here. The cow's not going to do that much to him. Especially if I floop him, then I can hurt the cow. Let's cow see. Versus dog. Hmm. I could floop him and do some damage, or I could do this and give us even more magic next time. Here we go. Blam. So yeah, you can't do that like immediately on most turns either because we have to start by building our magic up. But in general, I think this new magic system is better than the old one. Like I always felt bad when I used my corn Ronin gambit and like took someone out in like one turn. That was crazy. That only happened that one time because I got a critical. I think it was on Lady Rainicorn way back when. Whoop. Oh. She's got two cows. cows. She's got a whole pasture full of them. Soft Eiling. Oh, that's Aww. not too bad. She hasn't been whipping out any crazy puff. cards yet. This is our first time fighting her, though. There we go. Nice! All right. If we can get one more chest, that would be amazing. Let's see if we can take anyone else down before we just go crazy on Bubblegum. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I could floop him, and, but, and I'll heal him, but I don't really need to. They'll at least uh, heal him without doing any damage to the other one. I might put my Cornator down, because I got enough magic. There we go. Flip that out. We got so much magic points now. I should make sure I floop my Future Scholar, though. Get the extra boost. Phyllis is pretty much like a rainbow version of the Cornator, I noticed. It, she has a very similar floop that powers up her and anybody around her. She has like a, a gang mentality, I guess, <laughs> with her weird gang of old ladies. It reminds me of that Monty Python skit with like the old lady <laughs> gangs roaming around. But yeah, she, we'll have to see what she looks like in 3D. In her card, she looks all like she's unsure of whether she should be using a knife or not. But yeah. Yeah, like she doesn't know why she has it. <laughs> she's just defending herself on the Card Wars battlefield. Oh man, that's a pretty good uh, power there. It's kind of like Rainicorns, but oh, hit me. She got really lucky with that skeleton because it could have hurt one of her own people. Oh, yeah, she's, she's got to get some more powerful cards as we fight her. This is our first run-in with Bubblegum in this Candy Kingdom area, so she'll probably have better stuff. <gasps> Phyllis! Phyllis! Yeah, let's see what she looks like. Well, it's shiny. <gasps> <laughs> she looked pretty she's good with the cool. knife. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, if I floop her, she will power up not only herself, but anyone adjacent to her. I think that'll probably be enough. Let's see. Here we go. Blam. She doesn't start with much attack, but she has a lot of HP, so I think she's pretty much good against Bloodstorms. I like her. She just costs four magic to do, so I can't get her out until later on in the game. Here we go. We're getting to the point where Dr. Donut has about half of whatever person's HP that we are fighting. Oh, so we gotta be careful. Can't take too many hits with him, but his resurrection ability is good. What do you guys think I should do? Because I have a few heroes now. Like, who should I... There's a bubblegum butt. Pretty yeah. appropriate with bubble gum there. Um, <laughs> it didn't come out and fart, and did not ladylike. Yeah, weird. I wonder if they like don't make the butts come out and fart anymore because it was like a little too lewd. <laughs> we'll have to try with like a strawberry butter. The idea of this old lady fighting a cow is really. <laughs> <laughs> she's got to do what she's got to do. Let's do a couple floops here, power up. This should be enough to take some guys down, especially if I floop my cornator as well. 
Blam! There we go. I can almost take her down with my creature scholar. Boy. But yeah, I want to know uh, whether we should use Finn, Jake, uh, Lumpy Space Princess. I'm, I'm leaning towards Lemon Grab. Just His power isn't that great, but it'd still be useful. And he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. So I feel like he would be really funny to use. But we'd have to level him up. I've been working on Dr. Donut, but I'm, I'm open to suggestion. If you guys want to see a certain hero, hopefully it's one we have. But <laughs> we might get more later, too. We, uh, oh, we actually forgot. I was going to open up some more chests at the beginning of this video, and we didn't. Maybe okay. we should do that in the middle here, between bubblegum battles. I'll open a few, because we definitely have enough gems to do a few more. Oh, no. This bloodstormed my dog boy. I think I got her, though, unless she blocks my future scholar. We got enough to beat her. Blam. Oh, we got that. Oh, I want to see what's in that rare chest, too, because we got a three-star chest from her. Phyllis! Hold on, Phyllis. She has great purple hair. Let's throw this down. I think we're good. We just got to hit her once with the future scholar, and that should be enough. Do a little bit of healing from Detective Bobby. And yeah, we don't really need to use all these magic. Just flooping because I got them. Floop them if you got them, guys. There we go. And one more. <laughs> I think that's enough because, yeah, I think she only has like two HP left. Let's trounce her with our future scholar. Go! I'm not even going to bother to floop him. And she is done. All right, we're going to open a few chests in between. I'm trying to space it out so that we don't just like open a ton of chests at the beginning of one episode. <laughs> we did like six or seven before, but I've got, I think I've got enough for eight more. So we'll do a couple this time, a couple next time. Hopefully get some new cards. Ooh, I'm going to open that three-star chest last because it's so mysterious. It is, it's a level three rare card. It's, oh, Oh, bubblegum butt. <laughs> there it is. I also have a banana butt that I haven't used. Like, the butts Weird. aren't that useful. I wonder if they balanced the magic for those. I hope they did, because a lot of the spells, they're not really worth the amount of magic that you have to use to do them. All right, so next time, we're going to fight bubblegum. Paramidia. Aha, uh -huh. that's actually a good building. I don't know if we can make it. Let's go make a few more new cards. Pop out here, go to the chest. I'll open a couple of these. I think we'll do four this time and four next time. Round out the rest of my gems here. Oh, got a four-star card. Let's do it. It's, ooh, the Wodic Marauder. Whoa, he is really good. He can actually send buildings back to their hands for pretty cheap. And he's got crazy attack. It's got to be a good Blue Plains one. I might add him because I do like scare using Blue buildings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? He can scare buildings away. I guess. Oh, we got another Sludger. I think someone was like, that's a, a slug that just got mutated or something. <laughs> Maybe is why he's all crazy barbarian. Another three-star card. Here it comes. It's, ooh, Field of Nightmares. Choose an opposing creature. Can I use this flute next turn? That's uh, a ability that a lot of people have on their cards already. So it's like, I don't know how useful that is. Cool Dog can do that. Mouthball can also do it. <gasps> Our last one is a five-star. It's... <gasps> Cottonsaurus Rex, heal the hero's attack equal, or he, equal to this creature's attack. Whoa, look how much HP he has. That's crazy. I'm gonna go put him in the deck real quick and we'll be He's right so back. Cute. He's adorable. All right, Bubblegum round two coming at you. Here we go. Just using Swamp now. We put the Cottonsaurus Rex in the deck, even though it's- So cute. It's really expensive, but its power is amazing. I just realized like if you boost that attack, you can heal yourself for a ton of damage. And it has 40 HP, so it'll probably survive a really long time. I actually took out the fat goat, at least temporarily, even though it's cute. I'm trying to, you know, sub in equal cards when I take some out. Like I took a Nicelands card out to put a Nicelands in. There we go. Finally got her going first. Teeth Leaf, no! Yeah, be, the ability to heal your hero is pretty rare. I'm glad that we got yeah. that one. Plus, I just want to see it. It's adorable. There it is. <gasps> All right, I got to block. You can't use it yet. Yeah, I think I need to block the... Uh, I got to take my nice ones up with the nice ice baby right now. Oh, it seems like he would go there already because he has nice in his name. <laughs> yeah, I need to block these creatures. Let's do it. Yeah, it definitely... He's got little pink in him. Does he? Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, he like does. Like he's got little flesh bits inside there. Or it's like there. a... Oh, maybe. I thought it was just the reflection or something. Maybe it is, though. That's very odd. <laughs> Swamp and Nice Ones look bizarre next to each other because they're like the opposite things. One's super pastoral and sweet and the other's like gross. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. We don't have enough to get him to uh, use his floop ability, but we can lay him down. This is all building to get Cottonsaurus on the field. <laughs> He's another five five magic one, but we should be able to lay him in the next two turns here. Whoa, there we 
we go. Man, nice ice baby. Killing things. Who would expect a baby could kill a leaf? He went boom boom. Whoa, snappy dress. Whoa. <laughs> the nice ice baby went boom boom on the leaf. <laughs> no. The snappy dresser looks like a hipster guy. He's got like a cane and it looks like he's about to go golfing. He's probably gonna do a lot of damage. Oh no, man. Oh, he doesn't do that much, okay. <laughs> he's funny looking though. Oh man, we really need some better cards going. All right, let's see. What can we lay down? <gasps> Phyllis, I think that'll be worth throwing down. I'll put Phyllis here. There you go. Go for it, <laughs> Phyllis. Does she have a cape? Yeah. She's almost like a little superhero. Or is she trying to dress like a fancy old tiny dresser or something? I don't know. Either way, she's awesome. She's definitely one of my new favorite cards. I yeah, I like how she brandishes her little knife sword. She's like, don't mess with me, Sonny. I'll cut ya. <laughs> Choke on these hard candies. <laughs> All right. Oh. She offers people brittle gum. <laughs> they, they die from the old gum. All right. Let's see. Do we have enough to? Oh, I got a block here. I was, I'm so excited for the Cotton Saurus. I'm like, not as focused on what's going on in the battlefield. There you go, baby. Nice. And okay. So I could lay the Cotton Saurus. Oh wait. Oh, what the heck? How come I have less magic? There on? was a s oh, the spell. Oh, she your used magic. that stupid spell on me. Ah, oh, how dare she? I'm gonna floop him. Get some more magic next time. It was the falling star, right? Yeah. Didn't even see it coming. There we go. This should be enough. Almost. Oh, I can't take down the snappy dresser yet. She doesn't want my cotton source to be on the field. <laughs> she hates it. She wants it for herself because it's a powerful Nysons creature. Oh, no. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I want to make sure we get that down, just to show it at least. But she's doing better than me right now. I gotta be careful. Even though there's just a little angel heart there. Never underestimate anything. <gasps> oh no! He's got a good floop. Alright, not too good though. I might did two damage to Phyllis. Oh, hipster versus old woman! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop beating that old lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Her floop should be she like... She does have a knife. But... I thought her floop would be like blocking attack or something because she's a cute old lady. Oh, there we go. Cottonsaurus Rex! Do it! Haha, <laughs> it's a five-star card, so he does a cool thing. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my he is adorable. And then, Look I think it's- little dance. How about we floop Phyllis, because then we can boost its attack. And then, if I, I can heal myself for that amount, right? It needs a bunch of magic though, so I might have to do that next turn. Let's do this. I'm gonna bring somebody back from the dead if we can. He's dancing so much. He's all torn up from battle already. But I love his little dinosaur dance. Do we have, yes, there we go. And then I can lay him there. There we go. Perfect. All right. Yeah. He's ready to fight. <laughs> he would be really good for that one card that uh, mixes up the attack and defense where you can, like, switch them, and then he would do 40 damage like, really quickly. Yeah, get him, Cotton Source. He is so happy. <laughs> He's just, like, high steps. This might be my favorite. He is adorable. It's one of the best. He's nice really, like, creatures. Dog Boy by my, like, Cotton Source. I know, Dog better. Boy and Cotton Source. He's. Ah. Oh. There we go. I want to use this floop, so hopefully we still <laughs> Stars are screaming in horror as they fall. <laughs> <laughs> if they were, you know, conscientious, like if they could actually, like, conscious, they would uh, probably be very sad to fall to Earth like that. Oh, come on, Phyllis. Phyllis! No! Stay strong, Phyllis. There we go. Nice. Knocked him out. That's too bad. It is. All right, I think I might have enough to floop this guy. Yes, let's do it. I can heal myself. Blam! I probably could have waited till... There we go. Almost all the way. Who else can we lay down? We only have one. I don't have very many Blue Plains creatures in my hand here. So I'm gonna use this Ghost Ninja. I love how he just floats above the ground. Yeah. Let's do this. And if we have enough left, hopefully I can flip my Scholar. Yeah, the, the more attack I can get with that guy, the better. That little Cotton Saurus, because uh, I can keep healing myself. That's really OP, because, yeah, no matter what damage she does, as long as my Cotton Saurus is alive, I can keep healing it off. There we go, finally doing some damage to her. Gotta be careful, that cow's gonna take down my Future Scholar. Oh no. It's <laughs> just, ha ha ha. Alright, we're starting to get up in the magic points now. We're starting with seven by default. She's running out of creatures, though. Sorry, Bubblegum. I think your days are numbered. No! <laughs> if I get my Dr. Donut power again, I can bring him back. Let's do... Ooh, if I did this. And then I flooped twice. We could really power up my Cotton Saurus here. 
Let's do careful of cerebral. Rotation. Yeah. Well, he's okay right now. He's got way more yeah. HP than he does attack. Do we have enough? Well, we can do our ninja at least. There we go. I really like my deck balance. I'd really like to have a few more cards that are low magic cost, but still good. Because, again, I'm still using, like, the Mouth Ball and the Nice Ice Baby that aren't that good cards. But, hmm. but you have to have a few low magic ones. There we go, Cottonsaurus. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice. Whoa. She is done, I think. I don't know what you're throwing out, but it's not going to stand up to my old lady and my stuffed dinosaur. She's okay. <laughs> Phyllis can take a big hit to the noggin and still keep fighting. She's got her knife skills. One more of these, and I think she's done. Yeah, the ninja could take her out right now. Let's just finish off. Thank you guys for watching. Again, let me know what hero you think I should try to stick with. I could, you know, I could do Dr. Donut if you guys are enjoying him, but I'd kind of like to go to Lemon Grab. Maybe LSP. I don't know. We'll see. Please leave a comment and let me know which one you like the best, which one you want to see, and leave a like if you enjoyed this. Next time, we're going to take Bubblegum down once and for all, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then Dr. Donut will rule the Candy Kingdom with an iron fist. Eternal fest. nap. <laughs> and uh, I think we're going to fight a new foe after her in one of these here. Oh, Snuggle Tree! <gasps> we can make the Snuggle Tree. That one's <laughs> cute, too. All the Nice Lens ones are cute yet deadly. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then. Goodbye. Bye.